Back in the 90s at the Orpheum, if anyone came, I had a rule, no phones. There weren't any cell phones. In 1991, there weren't any really, there weren't any cell phones, except for rich yuppies had cell phones. <laughs> but um, talking and eating, a din like a, people would come in <laughs> with a, a styrofoam dinner from Jimmy's that would stink up the whole place, you know, and I, and I, I had to limit, well, I was air conditioned, but I had to limit activities, human activities, while a motion picture is in progress. So there was absolutely no talking. And if you were doing anything that was uh, disturbing anyone else, they would had to, were, at, were asked to come up and tell me. And I would come in and ask you if you wanted your money back. <laughs> Very politely, I would say, excuse me, would you like your money back? You don't seem to be um, enjoying the film quite, uh, you know, whatever, you know. But I got some arguments, but, you know, for the most part, people were ashamed of themselves and stopped what they were doing and ever after that were respectful of film. <laughs> I kind of trained people at the Orpheum to be respectful of film because they had forgotten. They had been watching films in their living room on TV and on VCRs. They had forgotten by the 90s that you're not supposed to talk in the movies. And that's why people still do it today. When I see a light in my peripheral vision, when I'm sitting in the Charles in my seat in the third row in the middle <laughs> that I've been sitting in for 40 years, and I see in my peripheral vision someone's cell phone, I will quietly get up and go over there to the person and ask them to turn it off. Because if the light is on, it's on and it's out and people are looking at it and it's visible in the in your peripheral vision if you're anywhere near the person. So, yeah, it's an absolute mortal sin to even have a cell phone on in a movie theater. 